Hello and happy Monday. You're used to seeing me on Fridays, but we've changed to Mondays for these words of encouragement, primarily so uh, we can return to having Fridays off as a staff and Dawn Roberts, who edits these videos, can return to having that day off as well. For the next two Mondays, however, one of my assistants will be offering a word of encouragement because I'm gonna go on vacation starting the 15th and I'll be gone for two weeks. I hope you've had a chance to take some time off and away from your work to recharge and to rest and to be ready for whatever comes our way. Change is a core value of our New Jersey Synod. It's one of the six core values that we embody in the work and the ways that we are in relationship to one another. Since mid-March, we've been certainly able to put this core value into practice in lots of ways. Some of that change has been life-giving and good opportunity to see how God is active in our lives and calling us into newness. Some of that change has been, well, it's been really hard and heartbreaking and filled with sorrow. As we look ahead, we don't know what kind of changes might come for us for the children in our lives and school, for our congregations. The change will be for sure happening and some of that is unsettling. So I wanna to say to you that through all the changes we experience and for the unknown changes that lie ahead, we're thankful that we can trust and count on the fact that God's steadfast love for you in Jesus Christ remains. That never-ending, non-changing love is a gift for you. And I pray that you will know that love so much that it overflows through you to those who are around you. Perhaps today you're the one who needs to hear of that love for you. Or maybe you're able to let someone else know of God's love for them. Either way, it's a promise that we trust and we count on because it is that love for us that enables us to weather the changes and the storms of life around us. We give thanks as God's people this day that God's love never ends and it's for you. Have a blessed week.